first season was incredible, and it set everything up. How is the second season even like a game changer? It's quite a game changer, season two. There's a lot of new characters, and also the stakes are a lot higher. We know what we're dealing with, and from a story plotline, we don't have to explain that to the audience anymore, so you can get really in-depth with the characters and, you know, all the nuances between their relationships as well. And uh, Nora and F at the beginning of the season are going to start developing a vaccine, and that's going to be their mission, you know, for a few few episodes. Um, and then also, the, you know, for Nora, the fact that uh, she has nothing to lose anymore, she lost her mother, and uh, she just becomes this, uh, this, you know, really strong fighter. But is she still struggling with the idea of doing the right thing and doing the right thing to survive? No, it's not that struggle anymore, because uh, she knows the right thing as, you know, you saw her killing her own mother in season one, so she knows that the right thing is just to, you know, not let those, you know, monsters propagate and continue um, uh, uh, as a race. Uh, but she always, you know, so she doesn't have that struggle anymore. She knows what the right thing to do is. But you, you're always going to see Nora with a more humanist, you know, a more human side to whatever's happening that day. And I think that's what brings to that to the group. You know, she has her own humanity, and um, she, you know, she has a lot of compassion. Um, and a lot of the characters don't have that. So um, you'll see her um, helping out, maybe. You know, even euthanasia and like, you know, killing people uh, in a more um, human way instead of just chopping heads left and right. And then when that's needed, she'll be, doing, she'll be the first one to do that as well. So Nora and Ev are basically experimenting on this couple who've been infected. Yes. Can you talk a little bit about that and how far we might see that go? We are going to see that go really far. Uh, it's a pretty great turn on the story. Uh, Corey and I had a lot of fun working together. Uh, it was kind of like doing a play a little bit because we were in one um, in, in one location in the lab and just working with these two incredible Canadian actors. and. Um, and yeah, it's gonna go quite far. And then you see a little bit like the difference between Nora and Ev, how they how they deal with the situation with those two patients. You know, because it's uh, it's pretty brutal what, what Nora and Ev are gonna do to those two people. Are we gonna see a lot of conflict then develop between Nora and Ev? No, not not. A, I think the the beautiful thing about their relationship is that they they work really well together and they complement each other beautifully. And uh, we're gonna see. So work wise, no. But uh, um, personally, yeah, we will. Um, F is going to be drinking quite a lot this season. He's going, but he's you know off the wagon, and uh, and um, yeah, and you know being a, a drinking alcoholic again. And Nora is going to you know step back a little bit from the relationships because she doesn't want to be involved with someone that is you know not sober. And uh, that also leaves Zach being left alone a lot of the time and left alone by a quite irresponsible father so she will um, become a little bit of a surrogate mother towards Zach and that'll break a lot of conflict with Kevin as well. Yeah. Are there any other new characters that are going to become an ally to her? Uh, well, she, you know, we, we live with with, uh, with Fed and Dutch and uh, of course there's um, uh, some connections with them and Nora towards the end of the season will develop a great um, friendship with Fed. They go out on missions together and uh, and that was, that's something really lovely that uh, develops during the, during the season. Yeah. And also she, also she also has this, you know, love for Satrakia, you know. I always feel like they have this strange father-daughter relationship somehow.